So I've just finished my last run in this shoe. It's the Freet Haugil. And while I don't think it's a perfect running shoe, I think it's a really interesting option for that casual side that can go on the trail as well. So I'm going to talk about the fit, the feel and the durability of this shoe and then work out, is it the right shoe for you and what you want? So if you don't know me, I'm Nick from Barefoot Run Review and I love everything foot shaped. I love everything barefoot. And basically I'm trying to find the right shoes for you and your foot health. And today that means the Freet Haugil. So let's get straight into that fit. So if you've seen some of my reviews on Freet shoes before, you'll know that this is one of the wider options that I review right now. And that width is interesting because it's not just the forefoot where everybody thinks about it. It's actually that midfoot as well. So it's really forgiving around the midfoot, which is absolutely great for me. But as you can see as well, this is a really nice squared off toe box here. Lots of room for the big toe and also doesn't taper too much on this little toe side. So if you've got that wider foot in general, it'll actually work pretty well. Another thing about the free shoes that I've tried as well is this depth. So it's actually got quite a lot of depth. And considering this is actually a knit upper as well, there's lots of flexibility for, your, for it to mold around your foot quite nicely. So if you're looking for a fit that's really forgiving and you don't mind a little bit of side to side motion and you're not looking at doing any type of lateral movement, say like football or um, squash or tennis or anything like that, then this could actually work quite well. And that's why I'm saying it's probably more of a casual option. So this knit upper, it goes all the way around. It's a booty kind of construction. It actually goes uh, under the footbed as well. So this is super duper flexible. And it means, well, technically you can slip them on and off if you really want to, but I'm sure that this would actually expand over time. So just keep a keep an eye on that. With that depth comes a few issues if you've got a shallow foot. I like to think that my foot isn't that shallow. I'm probably right in the middle. And I found this a little bit baggy. So I had to fill this insole out with, well, at the moment, I'm actually playing with a PR gear bridge sole, but I actually filled this out with an ultra sole in there just to reduce that depth a little bit and try and get that better fit in general. If you need that depth, that's great. And you'll probably get a great fit out of this. If your ultimate want is comfort, then this is probably going to do you really well. And that's because this knit upper is so flexible that it just fits like a sock more often than not. So if you're wanting something that can go around town, but then maybe go on a trail afterwards, then I think this will actually do you pretty well. The lacing, to be honest, doesn't do too much. You can cinch it a tiny bit, but I wouldn't do it too much because it's just knitted eyelets in here, which, well, you just basically don't want to crank on too much because you probably put some pressure through that knit weave. So I've said the wide and the deep. And I actually found the sizing quite difficult to get. So my true sizing in Freet shoes is in between, I would say, a 42 and a 43 EU sizing. And I opted for the 43 because that measures pretty similar when converting to centimeters. What I wish I did is gone for the 42. And that's because I see this more as a casual option. So I don't really need all that room at the front there. I've probably got maybe just under my thumb width uh, of room right at the top of this shoe here. And for a trail shoe, that's great because if you're going downhill, you want to make sure that you're not going to slip into the front because that's going to cause a lot of bruising. But for a casual shoe, you're not really doing that too much. So you can have that tighter fit and also have more comfort at the same time. So me going down to the 42 would have been a little bit better because it could have reduced that depth a little bit, reduced the width a bit, and I would have got a really good sock-like fit. So if you're between sizes, I actually say go down. If you're bang on the size, uh, using their size guide, yes, go true to size. All right, what about the feel of the Freet Haugil? So this is an interesting one. It's still super minimal in terms of its flexibility. You can see that it twists torsionally, absolutely amazing. And it also just goes all the way into a ball, just like a real barefoot shoe does. At the same time, this upper is super duper flexible as well. So really, this is as close to barefoot as you will get, but with a bit of traction at the same time. So these lugs are about four mil deep and this provides really good traction on 
I don't know, slightly muddy ground, wet ground. But at the same time, it feels slightly mismatched with this upper. Because if you get good grip or good purchase with this outsole, then you're probably going to end up slipping in the shoe a little bit especially if it's on steeper terrain as well. That's a little strange, I would say. But at the same time, it can allow for quite a lot of flexibility in terms of different terrains that this can actually go on. So I would see this as something that you would wear on maybe those slightly wet days. And maybe if you're, you're doing something casually, maybe going into town, but then also getting onto the trails afterwards. You don't actually have to switch your footwear. You can actually use the one shoe only. And it will provide ultimate comfort when you're just walking around town but at the same time you'll get a little bit of grip on the trail too which is pretty interesting in terms of running i felt that it was very similar to a lot of the other options that i've used before from free so similar to the feldum in terms of the stack height it's seven and a half millimeters and if you put in maybe an insole of three mil obviously you get to about ten and a half millimeters that might sound a little bit high but we've got to remember that these lugs are four mil in themselves. So if you take that out of the question, well, that's six and a half. That's not too much in the grand scheme of things. And because these lugs are actually spaced quite nicely apart, it actually still allows for quite a lot of flexibility in there. It's not like many other models you see from other uh, you'll see from other brands where there's maybe not as much flexibility when you get to this kind of stack height. I did find on maybe steep descents and things that. I did slip forward in the shoe a little bit, and that's obviously just because of that knit upper. It's just allowing a little bit too much flexibility, so I'm slipping forward a bit. Again, if I size down, I might not have had as much of an issue, and I think it should be something that you would consider at least if you're between sizes there again. And then I didn't actually mind this too much for these casual, casual runs where I was going to be on a trail. Maybe it was just a gravel trail. I actually kind of like them if it's just a smooth or maybe just a undulating trail it did quite well in the end so lastly if we look at the durability of this shoe well as with any kind of knit design i think you are actually going to have an issue with the material on top and that's because if you scrape this against any rocks or anything you could easily gash this and whereas i think there's you can see multiple layers in here so there's an upper layer and there's like a plasticky kind of layer which probably provides a little bit of waterproofness and then an under layer as well so whereas there's quite a few layers in there i still think you might actually have a slight issue and if i was thinking about the outsole well actually this is a pretty decent outsole obviously the lug's been four mil thick but also at the same time they're actually quite wide as well so they provide a good surface area if you are on any of those uh, concrete surfaces or asphalt surfaces so the outsole rubber will probably last quite a long time and it actually also nicely it nicely wraps up around the feet as well so one that provides a little bit of secureness you're not going to slide inside to side forwards and backwards as much but also it protects your feet a little bit from uh, rocks or anything that you end up kicking so because i don't believe you're going to be actually using this for anything too aggressive i think it actually lasts quite a long time for you if it's just your casual shoe then you get some good miles out of this so in conclusion i think this is a really good casual option maybe if you want to take it on some very gentle kind of undulating trail runs it'll do well and maybe if you're in those conditions where you've got a little bit of moisture on the ground is a bit wet then you'll get some good grip out of this outsole at the same time but if you're using it as a casual option and you're just taking it around town or they're maybe going into the hills afterwards i think it has that perfect mixture of comfort but then also trail grip at the same time. Considering it's only $115, it actually is a pretty good price point for a trail shoe like this. And especially considering this outsole as well, you probably won't find anything this good at this price. If you're looking for something a little bit more aggressive or something that actually spans a, a few different terrains, I'd suggest having a look at the Freet Feldum. I've actually got a review on this as well, so go and check that one out if you want a trail shoe that can do a little bit more with this same outsole at the same time. And if you're looking for something a bit more aggressive, then the Freet Calva does a really good job at being that wide, deep option with super deep lugs at the same time, which actually gets great grip in the muddy conditions. So again, casual option, great running option, maybe not so much.